Hey everyone, it is Sunday, November 26, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. Um, it's been a very good day, I'm in a really good place, and excited for a productive session as usual. So, gonna hit some online classes here, update you guys with what I'm doing, going to hit a uh, quick guitar practice, share my progress, going to jump into the production front, and the main goals for today are to get some final takes for these drum parts that I've been hashing out and working on. Um, I'm not totally sure what's realistic because I don't think I've ever tried to get like three or four final takes of any sections of a song on the drums ever before in one day. I would usually just go through the entire track like in a studio and be like super prepared and then just go in and knock out the thing start to finish. But here I'm kind of taking it one piece at a time because the sections are a little more technical and I'm developing the grooves as I record them. So I've got a little more flexibility. Um, I think what I'm going to do is start by working on a main groove for the song and then figure out a couple embellishments and then just get that stuff tracked and knocked out um, or as close as I can possibly get it today and then <clears throat> move on. Uh, so that's the main goal for today. Sub goals for today would be get a at least a working take down of the guitar fill I've been working on coming out of the chorus, first chorus section into the second verse. Um, and then uh, start working on some of the effects for the tune like there's probably going to be some sound effects maybe some pad synths in different sections of the song it might be a little tough to get that totally locked up before i get the drums done so if that's the case i'll just keep working on the drums today but it's going to be a pretty epic day i've got about uh, seven and a half eight hours on the docket here and we're going to make hay while the sun shines so appreciate you guys for tuning in let me know if you have any thoughts let's get right into it All right, good first half of the session. Uh, hit the online class front, got a little bit more information from the Busy Musician Boot Camp. Honestly, I was a little distracted during that, so I didn't make a ton of headway, but gave it my best shot. Got into a guitar practice and started that a little earlier. That was a good move, but again, kind of got a little derailed, distracted mentally, but uh, just moved forward with my mastery checklist, memorizing the note names on the fretboard, internalizing them. And what I'm doing is just creating an acronym for each fret. So like uh, at, the, at the the first fret or the nut, I'm not even sure what it's called actually, I guess it's like the zero fret, is Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie. And that just helps me remember the names of the strings. I, I didn't make that one up, just to be clear, but I'm making up all the other ones subsequently. So I'm doing that for each fret, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way up to 12. And I'll see what kind of results I get with that as far as just like nailing that stuff. Um, from there, I just started to work on the next riff from the Musicism Online class and didn't get too far with that before I ran out of time, but it's all good. Took a short break, finished up the appendix of the Recording Secrets for the Small Studio book. I think my next move is to go back and reread Mixing Secrets for the Small Studio or possibly get a different production book. I'm not sure. I think I'll probably reread Mixing Secrets just to try to internalize that stuff and that'll help me. Uh, just be reminded of how important all this stuff is as I'm in the tracking process pre-mixing. Um, then I just jumped into the drum front, I listened back to all the takes that I currently have, and honestly I feel like I've got some reasonably good ones, but nothing like 
amazing, you know, nothing life altering. So I kind of want to go for that while I have time. Uh, in fact, I really want to go for that. It just takes time to get those, you know, earth shattering takes. So what I did is I just jumped back into the intro fill, relearned it, sped it back up. I mean, it's a little easier now that I've, you know, done the first round of learning, but that was good. And then just busted out a bunch of takes. I think a couple of them were pretty good. I'll listen back uh, tomorrow or the next day and just try to get some better perspective on that. I'm going to take a break now, have some food, and then come back in and hit the verse intersection again, then hit the verse section again, then hit the chorus section again. We'll see how I do with that. I may intersperse a couple breaks here and there, um, but I'd love to get to the point where I could just track drums all day if, if I wanted to. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. See you guys in a few. Today was tough. Um, uh, after my break, I just jumped. I, I edited yesterday's vlog <clears throat> and uploaded that, and then jumped back on the drums and just thought, you know what, I'm just going to crank on this and see how far I can push it. And yeah, I probably did like maybe an hour and a half of just uh, speeding up the next section of the song slowly by 5 BPM and then tracking, 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 uh, a bunch of takes and I'm not sure if I got anything that was really great. Uh, I'm not feeling super good about the part, necessarily. I'm not feeling super good about the takes or my approach. And I think just overall today I wasn't feeling very good, as far as like most days go. I think there was just a lot on my mind, a lot of distractions. Those sort of cleared up as I just got focused in the session, which was good. But it was hard to maintain my momentum, and I just felt like, man, I'm like really grinding this right now. Like, this is... This is hard, this is like painful, you know? So, uh, like emotionally painful. Physically, I made sure that I wasn't like compromising myself or injuring myself. That's obviously extremely important. And like any athlete, any musician will tell you that preventing injuries is, is the highest priority because if you, if you get injured, then it's really difficult to train most of the time. Um, and perform, obviously. So, uh, What's the takeaway? Um, you know, I think it's a similar takeaway that I discovered last time I tried to like do a whole day on the drum set, which is it's doable. Like physically, I'm capable of doing it. And I could have kept going and I could have done some more takes on some more sections of the song and maybe even gotten some finished takes. But honestly, I think that that's just making things harder for me than they have to be. I think it would have been easier for me to just get the try to get the final take of the first section that I did today and then switch over to something guitar based or vocal based in the second half of the session and then go you know jump up tomorrow and then hit the next section and then again, you know what I'm saying so um, I think my takeaway what I'm going to try to do going forward for these 8 hour days 7 8 hour days depending on how long I go um, is just try to keep switch things up regularly you know like maybe hour and a half to two hours max on any one thing and if I'm going for final takes like when I'm tracking at the end of a song like this just go for one thing on each instrument in the day and just break it up that way because I think it'll just give me more energy give me more momentum it'll keep me from having to battle like the mental battle so much and also just physically and emotionally and mentally it'll just give me a little more variety instead of just like okay eight hours of drum tracking of the same part you know it's like I don't want to start hating the song. I mean, I can deal with that, you know, I can push through that, but if it's avoidable, why why put myself through that? You know, if I can get the same result with an easier uh, time, you know, not necessarily the less effort, but just effort spread out in a more intelligent way, I think that's the key. I really want to try to work smarter, not harder right now. 
So um, that in that respect, today was very valuable because I'm altering my workflow and it'll be better going forward. But I definitely, you know, am like, wow, that was maybe not the greatest idea. So live and you learn. Hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals, enjoying the process. That's what I'm out here doing. Sometimes I take losses, but honestly, I think you learn. I learn so much from those mistakes, and I'll be better when I wake up tomorrow, and that's that's really what matters. So appreciate you guys for tuning in, and I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow for more. Till then.